we got a pullback in a market. Tesla got rejected at the $200 level as expected. What is going on with the markets and what can we uh, possibly see for the upcoming week? This is Mike, the Tactical Stock Scalper. All right, all right. So we're going to start here at NDX, but then we're going to move to SPX and then Tesla and IWMY uh, because there's some really important things going on here. So let's start here with NDX. As you see here at NDX, we have gotten below the 20 period moving average, which is in white. We are now forming possibly or trying to form a lower low. So right here, if we look right here, we have a lower high, right? We see how that high is lower than the other high. Now we have a low here. Will NDX come down and make a lower low and maybe hit that 50 period moving average that's in green on a daily time frame? We'll have to wait and see. I'm, I'm not so sure yet, and I'm going to show you why. I haven't started any short positions or hedging yet, and let me show you why. We're going to go to SPX. So if we go here to SPX, I want to pull out. You see this white line? That is a 20 period moving average. It, it has provided support since November. Uh, SPX hasn't really gotten below the 20 period moving average. So even though we did, oh, a little right here, um, we quickly, right there, you see that? We quickly got up back above it and then you see over here we had a wick that got below it uh, but again went right up past it so before I can take any short positions or start hedging uh, and think we're going to have a deeper pullback SPX has got to break through this 20 period moving average and stay below it which it hasn't been able to do so if we see right here today right it's using the 20 period moving average as support so uh, we do have a lower high forming on spx so that's new and unique um, so we will have to see what happens here if it does break the 20 period moving average we're looking for a lower low we will just have to see how that develops let's go look at tesla and then we're going to look at the russell So as expected, uh, the 200 period moving av or the, the $200 price tag on Tesla proved to be too much, and we are getting rejected there. I am looking and kind of hoping, honestly, that we form a higher low. So let's put a let's put a line here. Put a line here. You see that how we're forming higher lows i'm looking for tesla to come and form a higher low that would be a really bullish development for the future let's see if uh, tesla can do it right now it is forming a higher low um, it just didn't have enough buyers enough infantry to break through the 200 so tesla is retreating collecting more buyers more ammunition more soldiers and i think it's going to take another run at this 200 at some point and maybe that time it could break it but we'll just have to wait and see now let's look at the russell and iwm why we're actually going to look at iwm today instead of the russell it's a little cleaner but i already have my lines drawn so that makes it easy so as we see it is trading in a channel, IWM and a Russell, like it always does, like it always does, rather. Goes up to the 205 here on this channel, sells off. I'm looking for it to eventually get down close to the 190 level. I bought IWMY, let me kind of zoom in on this for you, over here um, a few days ago. When everyone was freaking out on IWMY, saying how horrible it was, I was buying at that level. We didn't quite, quite reach the 190, so I bought there. I also bought IWMY at that level there. So I am not going to buy any more IWMY until it comes back down to roughly those levels. 
you enjoy the content, I would really appreciate a like and maybe a sub to my channel. I'll leave a link to my Discord server where we talk about charts and all other kinds of fun, high-yielding uh, ETFs. And we talk about trading in there as well. This is Mike, the Tactical Stock Scalper, out.